Welcome back to Millionaire Coins. Hi friends, today I will exploring the hidden values of USA 5 cent coin from 1974 is quite an extensive task. It's covering the historical background, design features, mint variations, arrow coins, and market value. Asterisk coin enthusiasts. We're diving deep into the fascinating world of the 1970 for USA 5 cent coin also known as the Jefferson Nickel. This coin holds an incredible history, potential value, and unique characteristics that make it a treasure for collectors. Stick around as we explore its background, variations, and what makes some of these nickels worth a small fortune. 1970, for USA 5 cent coin history, value, and hidden treasures. Let's kick things off with some historical background. The early 1970s was a time of significant change and progress in the United States. The country was recovering from the Vietnam War, the Watergate scandal was shaking the political landscape, and the economy was facing challenges such as inflation and unemployment. Amidst these events, the U.S. Mint continued its operations, producing coins that are now a part of numismatic history. The 1970 for Jefferson Nickel features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse, designed by Felix Schlog in 1938. The reverse showcases Monticello, Jefferson's home, and has remained largely unchanged since its introduction. However, Subtle variations and errors can make certain 1970 for nickels particularly valuable. Rarity and variations despite the large number of nickels produced in 1974. Not all of them are created equal. Let's talk about rarity and variations. The 1970 for Jefferson nickel was minted in three locations. Philadelphia no mint mark, Denver D mint mark, and San Francisco S mint mark. Each mint produced millions of these coins, but certain variations are more sought after than others. 1970 for nickels with and without mint mark. Within the 1970 for series, there are some notable variations that collectors seek. These include differences in the quality of the strike, die errors, and even variations in the design elements caused by the use of worn dies. Error coins and their value next. Let's dive into error coins, which can significantly impact the value of the 1970 for nickel. Error coins are always fascinating to collectors. Some of the most valuable errors include double dies, repunched mint marks, and off center strikes. For example, a 1970 for nickel with a double die obverse, where elements of the design appear doubled can be worth hundreds of dollars depending on its condition, recent discoveries and auctions. In recent years, there have been several exciting discoveries and auctions involving 1970 for nickels. These instances show that valuable coins are still out there, waiting to be found. For instance, a rare 1974 S proof nickel with a cameo finish where the design elements are frosted and the background is mirror-like can fetch a premium price of $1,000. Such instances fuel the excitement and passion of numismatists and treasure hunters alike. Asterisk how to identify and value your 1970 for nickel now. You might be wondering how to identify and value your own 1970 for nickels. Let's break down the steps you need to take. 1. Asterisk asterisk examine the mint mark. Asterisk, asterisk, look closely for the mint mark. The Denver D and San Francisco S mint marks are located to the right of Monticello on the reverse. 2. Asterisk, asterisk, check for errors. Asterisk, asterisk, use a magnifying glass to inspect the coin for any signs of mint errors, such as doubling, repunched mint marks, or off center strikes. 3. Asterisk, asterisk, condition matters. Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk coins condition, or grade, significantly impacts its value. Coins in pristine, uncirculated condition are worth more than those that are worn. Professional grading services, 
like the professional coin grading service PCGS or the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation NGC, can provide an official grade for your coin, adding to its value and credibility. When it comes to buying or selling 1970 for nickels, there are several avenues to explore. You can visit local coin shops, attend coin shows, or explore online marketplaces like eBay and specialized coin auction sites. Networking with other collectors and joining numismatic clubs can also provide valuable insights and opportunities. The 1970 for USA 5 cent coin is a small piece of history that carries immense value for those who know what to look for, from its historical significance to the rare variations and errors that make it a collector's dream. This coin is a testament to the rich tapestry of American numismatics. Now talk about the 1977 US, a five cent coin, including its value, rarity, historical background, recent occasions, and potential worth, involves detailed research and structured content. We're diving deep into the intriguing world of the 1977 US, a five cent coin, also known as the Jefferson Nickel. We'll explore its historical background, value, rarity, recent occasions, and whether these coins could be worth a fortune. Let's get started. Historical background. The Jefferson Nickel has been a staple of American currency since its introduction in 1938, replacing the Buffalo Nickel. Designed by Felix Slug, the coin features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and Monticello, Jefferson's Virginia estate, on the reverse. The year 1977 was a period of significant change in the United States, marked by a growing economy, technological advancements, and shifts in the political landscape. Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, was a key figure in American history, known for his role in drafting the Declaration of Independence. Monticello, his home, stands as a testament to his architectural vision and intellectual pursuits. Design and specifications, the 1977 Jefferson Nickel is composed of 75% copper and 25% nickel, with a diameter of 21.1 millimeters and a weight of 5 grams. The obverse features a left-facing portrait of Jefferson, while the reverse showcases Monticello, with the inscriptions E Pluribus Un, Monticello, 5 cents and United States of America, the mint mark, if present, can be found to the right of Monticello. Minting and variations, in 1977, the Jefferson nickel was minted at three locations, Philadelphia No Mint Mark, Denver D Mint Mark, and San Francisco S Mint Mark for proof coins. The total mintage for that year was substantial, with hundreds of millions of coins produced. However, variations in minting can lead to differences in value and rarity. Coins minted in Philadelphia lack a mint mark, while those from Denver and San Francisco bear their respective marks. The San Francisco Mint produced proof coins, which are specially made for collectors and exhibit a high quality finish, value and rarity. The value of a 1977 Jefferson Nickel can vary widely based on its condition, mint mark, and any unique features. Coins in average circulated condition are generally worth their face value but those in uncirculated or proof condition can fetch higher prices. Grading companies like PCGS and NGC provide a standardized assessment of a coin's condition, significantly impacting its market value. High-grade coins, especially those graded MS65 or higher, can be worth several dollars, while proof coins from the San Francisco Mint can be valued even higher, particularly if they are free of blemishes and exhibit a deep cameo effect, recent occasions and notable sales. Recent years have seen some remarkable sales and discoveries of 1977 Jefferson Nichols. In coin auctions, rare high-grade examples and coins with unique errors have garnered significant attention. Error coins, 
such as those with doubled dies or off-center strikes, can be especially valuable. In one notable case, a 1977 Jefferson nickel with a significant minting error sold for thousands of dollars, underscoring the potential hidden value in these seemingly ordinary coins, worth millions in circulation. Could there be millions of dollars worth of 1977 Jefferson nickels still in circulation? While it's unlikely that individual nickels are worth millions, the cumulative value of high-grade examples, rare proofs, and error coins can add up. Coin collectors and enthusiasts continue to search rolls and collections in hopes of finding that one exceptional piece. The key to discovering valuable coins lies in careful examination and an understanding of what makes certain coins special. Whether it's an uncirculated gem, a rare proof, or an unusual error, the hunt for valuable 1977 Jefferson Nichols remains a thrilling pursuit for numismatists. Conclusion. The 1977 US, a five cent coin is more than just pocket change. It's a piece of American history with potential hidden value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, there's always a chance you could discover a coin worth for more than its face value. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the world of the Jefferson Nickel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating coin stories and insights. So, the next time you come across a 1977 nickel, take a closer look. You might just be holding a piece of treasure in your hands. Thank you for joining us on this numismatic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more in-depth coin explorations. Happy collecting.